Hello, this is Chetan Nurula reporting for Cricket World and uh, this is day 5 of uh, the third test in St. Lucia and as you can see it's still a bit, um, still a bit sunny here, still a bit uh, bright and that's because India have wrapped up a 237 run victory within, uh, uh, within just over two sessions, uh, just before tea, they were able to wrap up. Uh, they were able to wrap up this victory, and um, that was thanks to declaring 217 for seven early in the morning session on day five, and then uh, bowling out, uh, bowling out the West Indies for a paltry total 108 all out for the West Indies. Uh, as a result, India have taken a two nil series lead in this uh, format series, and they have technically won the series with just the one match left to go in Trinidad. More importantly, this is uh, the first time that they have won two test matches in uh, a series in the West Indies. They have won two test series here prior in 2006 under Rahul Dravid and 2011 under MS Dhoni. But both those series wins came with a 1-0 margin. So the first time, it's a bit of a historic moment for Indian cricket that they have uh, been able to win a test series in, um, in the West Indies uh, with a margin of uh, more than the one test. Talking about the match uh, then, day three, as you know, was uh, washed out completely because of uh, thunder showers and uh, incessant rain throughout the day. On day four then, India looked to press ahead, uh, looked to press for victory and it was a magical spell of 5 for 14 in 10.4 overs, in fact, for Bhuvneshwar Kumar that turned the game for India. With uh, He was bowling from this end, uh, you know, uphill and uh, he Bought on some uh, really nice mix of uh, in-swing and out-swing. The, the over that he bowled to Marlon Samuels was an absolute peach. Uh, five deliveries uh, uh, just uh, leaving the batsman and then the last one slipping an in-swinger and uh, the batsman was uh, bowled. Playing on but bowled nevertheless. And uh, the rest of the batting was uh, simply clueless against him. So 5 for 14 for Bhuvneshwar Kumar, 5 for 33 overall his figures. In the, in, the, in the West Indies first innings as they ended up giving 128 runs uh, lead in the first innings to India who were bowled out for 353 mind you on, on day two. So with that lead, uh, India batted yesterday and uh, they were able to build on their uh, lead and this morning they batted for just about 40 minutes, 78 uh, not out for Ajinkya Rahane in, in the Indian second innings and it took the score to 217 for 7, given a good start by KL Rahul and then a few wickets here and there and then Ajinkya Rahane coming in and scoring those runs. This morning, wickets fell quickly. Miguel Kemins uh, finished with 6 wickets in this innings, his best, uh, his best haul, best test figures and uh, made in 5 wicket haul. But uh, it didn't matter really because uh, faced with a 346 run target, uh, primarily, the West Indies needed to bat out 87 overs um, with the two and a half sessions to play for and they were bowled out just before T. Darren Bravo with 59, the only sort of uh, resistance, if you want to say, uh, for, uh, for the West Indies in this final, uh, in this final innings here in, in St. Lucia. But it was an all-round performance, all-round bowling performance from India, which was the highlight of the day, which was an improvement from the day five in uh, Jamaica when they struggled to take wickets. Today, a much more balanced attack, a much more, uh, uh, you know, much more life in the pitch for, uh, for a day five. Um, Jamaica pitch had eased out totally, but here, uh, the best pitch in the Caribbean in St. Lucia, there was still a bit left in it for the bowlers and it did something for the bowlers. It wasn't that tough though, uh, as uh, Bravo, uh, Bravo showed, 59 for him, uh, but uh, it was not enough for uh, for the West Indies batsmen to show some fight and grit. They were never in a position to win the match, but they perhaps could have drawn given how um, Roston Chase played a heroic knock in the second test. But it was a bit of a disappointment then. Like I mentioned, it was an all-round bowling display for India and uh, all their bowlers contributed in the wickets column. Three wickets for Mohamed Shami, two wickets for uh, Ishan Sharma, pitching the ball further up and uh, uh, and uh, getting uh, two bowls, ma bowling Marlon Samuel and uh, two bowl dismissals in there. Marlon Samuels and Roston Chase bowled with uh, beautiful in-swinging deliveries. And of course, two wickets for Ravindra Jadeja. A wicket apiece for Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Ashwin was uh, obviously uh, awarded the Man of the Match award for his fine 100, the second 100 in uh, this series, which helped India from 130 for five on day one. So remember that India were 130 for five on day one after all those changes. And despite the fact that rain washed out, 
day three, they've come on and uh, beat West Indies by 200 and, uh, 237 runs. So a major victory for India, shows a lot of intent, showed a lot of aggression and they have gone up 2-0 in the series. I'll be moving on to Trinidad tomorrow, which will be the last stop in this series. And we'll be soon talking about the fourth test.